Welcome back to Melamec Art. My name is Mickey. So I, uh, a little while ago, did a giveaway. I think it was around May, and I sent out some um, watercolor sets that were um, the Da Vinci brand. And I wanted to. Um, I just bought these big, huge tubes, and I wanted to share the love. So I ended up giving away. I think it was like two or three sets. Um, and one of the people that received a set was um, Andrea and she lives in Australia and we were talking back and forth in emails and she said that she wanted me to try some um, brands that are native to Australia so there's Derivan and Art Spectrum um, and there's a little bit of difference with the <coughs> light fastness scaling um, ASTM 1 or 2 and then there's three, four, and five. Um, these two claim that they are light fast of one and two um, only, and they use single pig pigments where possible. Um, so I found um, their the Art Spectrum website um, dot com dot au has all the pigment information for Art Spectrum, and I was um, sent a. Um, information card on Derivan um, from Andrea and her Instagram is Australian watercolor so let's see what she sent she actually sent me back something I guess in gratitude so this this is the Derivan art spectrum um, and things and I did a little peek and I was like no nope, I gotta wait I really need to be surprised <laughs> so I am so tempted to peek, so I have some watercolor paper here that she sent over. So we can swatch on these. They feel like they're cotton. So these are very nice, thick watercolor pieces of paper. And look at this. All these goodies. Oh, I'm so excited. So I'm going to go ahead and undo these. And so happy that these came over to Northeast North America in fine shape. Minus my cat's hair, or maybe her cat's hair. <laughs> but, so, oh my goodness, she sent me goodies. <laughs> oh my word. So it looks like we have creamy dusted cubes, coconut ice cubes. Mm. Ooh, we had a little bit of a melting here on some of the pans. Which is fine, it, it's exactly what happened when I sent her. It was winter here and I sent it to her in her summer weather. So she got some that were melted and it's vice versa here, vice versa here in America. So let me just get a little something to put this on. I always keep these <laughs> used and extra ones for artwork to recycle and reuse. So let me sort this out. <laughs> I'm going to pause right here and I'll sort it out and then um, we can go from there. All right, so I am back now and I just want to let you know that this was the mess I <laughs> had when I was just messing around. But isn't it beautiful? <laughs> it's actually like a little tie-dye. Um, so these are coconut ice cubes and I want to Give them a try. Handmade in Australia. So, this is what they look like. Oh, they're adorable. And I love coconut, so this is perfect. Mm -hmm. they're like little, um, almost like ice cream flavor, like a strawberry ice cream. They're really good. Mm. Thank you so much. And she rolled a Rolo to her pal. <laughs> Remember the commercial? I don't know. I'm dating myself now. Roll a Rolo to your pal. I can't believe I just sang. Anyway, these are some cool things. Um, some tape with eyeballs. And looks like some inspirational message. On this other tape, I always need tape. This is great. Thank you. And some pencils from Disney. It's all about 
magic within and dream the impossible very encouraging sweet messages from the lovely Andrea so this is where we're at and um, I'm gonna send you a thank you note and send this tin back because it's it's so useful I want you to have this back um, but I'm, I'll put some more goodies in here for you so I had taken the two sheets of paper while I was after I cleaned up and this is a definitely a cotton paper um, so this is gonna be really nice to paint on so this is the art spectrum art spectrum has like oil paints all sorts of products uh, watercolor um, and it was created by a co-op of artists so it's really cool they have a wide range of paints um, Derevin uh, founded in 1964 has 24 colors for their watercolors um, and they're all very purposeful colors um, and they have a, a oil all different products oil paints um, so they're both I mean who would ask for anything more with these two they're uh, they're really good um, they use single both use single pig pigments when possible um, although the Derivin seems to be less mixes, but that's because Art Spectrum has more, probably just a huge range of colors. But we'll see, let's check them out. Um, let me clean this up and we'll get ourselves to a, like a swatching view, okay? Okay, so we're gonna start here on the left with my troublemaker, the magenta which is a PV-19, like a Quinn uh, violet or rose. It's kind of in between. It's really pretty. Beautiful color. And the next is a pyrrole red. Nice base color. That PR254 is a really good true red for me, uh, in my opinion. I think I did a, a video on just reds, and it was the PR254 uh, pigment that I really like the most because you can get a nice, soft, beautiful pink out of it. Great for uh, portraits. So next is um, the one that may had me curious, yellow deep, because it looks like it's speckled in there. Maybe some of the um, moisture got in there. There's a little hair. It almost, I almost thought it was like a ochre. But this is very nice, deep PY83. I'm gonna nice buttery yellow and next is what they call yellow oxide which is actually we what I normally would call yellow ochre and it's a PY42 very opaque very um, you'll see this this is a very comparable color to all the others uh, brands. Oops, dropped my, dropped my brush. And this is raw sienna. semi-granulating and has three pigments in this one. It's a PBR7, which is a brown, PY42, which is this color, and a PR101, which is a red oxide. So next is burnt sienna, but they're using the red oxide for the burnt sienna, which is actually pretty common. Now this one it has me curious because it's really finely milled and it says it's staining. So this must be a transparent red oxide. 
which is really nice. A, a beautiful uh, way to have this um, PR 101 is to have it transparent. It's very useful. So I recommend that. That's beautiful. Here's our lemon yellow PY3, which we see a lot. Very, very bright. Great mixing color. Opposite, we have a cerulean blue hue. And it's a white and a phthalo blue mixed together. So it's coming out very opaque. Uh, these remind me of um, Sennelier paints. Look at that. That's really cool. <laughs> I'm going to leave that there. <laughs> so it's really pretty. And this is um, Australian sap green. So this is a mix of PG7, PY83, which is this color, and PB153, which is a phthalo blue. And if these start starting to look granulating, it's only because it's on cotton paper. This is actually really transparent. So here's the phthalo green. It's very typically phthalo green. I, I'm surprised it's not a lot stronger. This sort of looks like a viridian, viridian green hue. Viridian green is PG-18 and a lot of, or not a lot, but some companies do a knockoff by using this phthalo green to replace the PG-18 for the viridian. So here's phthalo blue. I'm going to leave that for last. It's really strong. So here's um, what are we at? ultramarine blue. And to my eye, this looks so shockingly uh, purple, vibrant when I'm, I'm doing this. And I almost wager anything there's a purple in there. So it looks very undertone, or like a French ultramarine blue. Hmm. See that? I don't know if you can see it the way I'm... I'll have to do a close-up later. So this is Thalo Blue PB15-3, which makes it more of a green tone. Or this one. Anyway, I'm not really sure. There's Thalo Blue PB153, 1531, and um, I believe there's one or two more. And sometimes you'll see this as Peacock Blue or Turquoise. So there you have these gorgeous colors. Look at that. How vibrant. Derbian gives you everything that you need basically but does not give you more than what you need so that's why you would go to art spectrum i guess see how much more purple that looks than here okay i'm gonna go to art spectrum now put this one aside let that dry i hope i've been painting on the right side So I'm going to switch this around. So first up we have what they call, oops I'm off camera, let me move it. First up I have Spectrum Crimson which is a quinacridone rose, it's a PV19. 
gorgeous color. You could use this um, as your magenta, great, great mixing color. And next is this, she says she likes to mix this with another color to make an apricot. And this is um, Naples Yellow Reddish. So it's a convenience mix. It's a P um, W4, which is a white, a PY43, which is a yellow oxide, and a PO20, which is an orange. And this is a cool color. It's called Australian Red Gold. Let's check this out. This is a PY83. PR101 and a PV19, which is a violet. So this makes it like a, um, a Quinn Gold. It's beautiful. Really pretty. It's hard to believe that there's a violet in there, but I, I could kind of see it. Next up we have Burnt Sienna Natural. So this was mined in Sienna somewhere. I read up this, our story about where this is mined from and they've been mining it for like a very long time. So it's really pretty as a natural. They're saying this is um, very light fast and very granulating and it's kind of has a pink undertone which is really pretty I don't know if you can see that I'm trying to get it to disperse a little super pretty okay so next is a permanent gamboge. I'm trying to tilt it so there's no glare. I don't even know if I'm helping. I'm gonna leave it down for. So this is a mix of a couple colors. Uh, PY97, which is a very light fast yellow. I love this yellow, look at that. Nice and strong and washes out to a nice buttery yellow, beautiful. And then we have what's called Olive Green Permanent. So it's a PY42, which is a yellow oxide, and a PG7, which is pretty much a phthalo green. So this is a nice olive green. And it's saying it's going to be granulating, so I'm gonna let it build up a little. The magenta is still on in the pants. So next we have raw umber. And let's see. This raw umber has PBR7, PY42, and a PR101. It's very golden and where I just have some yellow in there. I think let's do this again. It's a very golden raw umber. I must say that it's like a dark yellow oxide, but I don't know. It's nice. So Antwerp blue, I did not find a lot on this. Um, it's using the Prussian blue pigment for it. It almost looks like a Mayan blue if it were stronger. I'm sure you can find a good strong Mayan blue. And um, they had no information on it on the website. So I was trying to read up on it. And this is Prussian blue, which is PB27. So we're getting this one again. And I think this one's gonna be a little darker. It's Looks pretty similar. I 
This one might even be more of a, like a red shade of this. So this is Payne's Gray, and I'm kind of curious on this because it has a violet in it, and I like a violet Payne's Gray. So it's a PB153, PBK6, which is the black, and a PB19. And it's showing up pretty much just a gray. No purpley undertone. That was a little disappointing. <laughs> okay, so we have, oh, did I just do? Okay, so I just did the ivory black, so no wonder why. This is, I do this every time. So we are gonna just go ahead and forge ahead. So this is the Payne's Gray. This is the ivory black, which did not come off very strong at all. And this is what is I was looking for. This is kind of like an indigo look. It's absolutely beautiful. So if those two were to be traded, this ivory black is um, also called bone black. It's made from bones. And this one's very uh, wimpy. I used to use elephant tusks, which is sad. Now they think they just use um, old animals, <laughs> I don't know, byproducts. I really like this. This reminds me of a Daniel Smith, um, what is it called? Uh, I'll have to remember. It looks just like it, um, but it's really pretty. These are all really nice. I'm disappointed with the ivory black. I really like the Payne's Gray. This raw umber is nice. This beautiful natural burnt sienna, love it. And um, yeah, these are all re really great. These are this is really pretty too. Thank you so much, Andrea. This is just amazing. I really, really appreciate it. This I did not expect all of these colors. So, well. I think we're at the end here and yeah I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here let me just bring us back up and if I could roll a rollo to you guys I would let's see have you ever tried one of these do you like them I think when I was younger they were individually wrapped I think and they have caramel on the inside Yep. <laughs> it tastes like I remember. Thank you so much. I hope you learned something today about, you know, brands that we don't have really readily available to us folks in the States, uh, United States, I should say America. Um, and um, I hope you try to check some of these colors out. Um, I really am impressed by the Darabin. I wasn't expecting that I would like them because they only have, they're limited to 24 colors, but they're really a nice payoff. Lots of pigment there. And the Art Spectrum with the um, co-op startup, uh, I don't know, I'd have to support them just because of that. You know, they started from the ground up. And they have some beautiful colors. So, well, thanks for joining me. And um, I'm just gonna put this down somewhere. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Um, I have another unboxing coming up soon. Um, it will be oils. So we'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves.